Now let's talk about life-changing and mind-blowing work being done in science labs today. All around the world, we now have better medicines helping us live longer, but because we're living longer, our organs wear out and there are not enough organs to go around. So, scientists are looking at lizards, for example. If a lizard lost an arm or lost a leg, he could just grow it back. So, scientists are asking themselves this. Why do lizards get to regenerate, and why do humans not be able to regenerate? So, to be able to do that, they had to face some, a few challenges. A biomaterial, much like your shirt's made out of, to live inside the human body. Check, scientists did that. And they had to figure out how to grow cells outside the human body. Check, scientists did that all around the world. And then they had to face one more challenge, blood flowing through that organ and making it live. Check, scientists did that. Another technology so that they're using that cells to make a 3D body part. And as you can see, the body part's cells. being printed by this 3D exactly. printer. And if you go down to the exhibit hall, you can check out that 3D printer. Has anybody seen the 3D printer down in the exhibit hall? So an elevator is lifting that organ up and letting and printing it. I actually have a question for that. Can I have a 30 printer for Christmas? <laughs> so, scientists are using their science thinking, their mathematics thinking, and their creative technologies, and when they combine both sides of their brain, you can, they can do 3D printing and print human body parts. Pretty cool, huh?